I'm Dr. Mike Engel, leader of the Pediatric Cancer Program at UVA Children's. It's a singular pleasure to speak to you to kick off Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. Each year at UVA, we welcome approximately 70 children to our Pediatric Cancer Program from within and around Charlottesville who are newly diagnosed with a cancer. We also care for hundreds more children on active treatment and can point to nearly 12,000 survivors of pediatric cancer throughout the state of Virginia who have ongoing health needs. Here at UVA Children's, we are committed completely to these children and their families. We're providing world-class care for our young patients and we're conducting cutting edge research to identify the childhood cancer treatments of the future. It's really a thrilling time to be fighting this battle and the weapons we now have to find cures for these children have never been better. But we're also here to support our families in every dimension of their lives. Many face hardships financially. They travel from long distances to get to Charlottesville and they incur all manner of new burdens while their child receives care. With your incredibly generous support, we can help ease these burdens by providing resources for food, for lodging, and for transportation to those families who need it the most. I'm honored to introduce you to the Shannons, one of our patient families. Their son Tyler was treated at UVA Children's for retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is a rare cancer of the eye that occurs almost exclusively in young children. One or both eyes may be affected, and for the vast majority of children, their retinoblastoma can be traced back to inactivation of a gene that controls the growth of cells that eventually allow us to see. I'm sure you can imagine the challenges that these children have to overcome and the strength on display by their families as they navigate these challenges. I know you'll be inspired by the story of Tyler and his family. And on behalf of UVA Children's, a million thanks to everyone at Carter Meyer Automotive Dealerships for your generous support during Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month and for your long-standing partnership with UVA Children's. I'm Jen Shannon. I'm Tyler Shannon's mom and we're from Salem, Virginia, which is in the Roanoke area. Before Tyler was diagnosed, we were a very normal family. I'm a high school teacher. My husband's a firefighter and paramedic. And Tyler was a very normal, healthy, happy, very active, four and a half year old. My name is Trevor Shannon. I'm Tyler Shannon's father. Definitely an outside kid that, that just loved to have a ball in his hands. Very into sports, um, loved anything that had to do with sports and loved playing outside all the time and was very excited to start kindergarten the next year. When Tyler was three years old, he was rubbing his eyes a lot when he would watch television. And so we took him to a local optometrist and had his vision checked. There was nothing to worry about to bring him back in a year. We weren't suspecting any eye problems whatsoever. And we went on September 24th of 2013 and there was a tumor, so. It was just a few weeks we were able to get in here at the University of Virginia with a doctor here. None of the doctors thought it was cancer at that point. Of course our, our concerns were starting to grow. We were starting to get a little more worried and, and uh, knowing that something was going on but we just weren't real sure what was going on at the time. When they discovered that Tyler actually did have cancer, um, it was November 22nd. We were able to go, we took Tyler over to meet some of the UVA football players and um, he got to have some fun there because he was very anxious about his appointment. He said, Tyler's MRI looks great, which we were very thrilled of that there weren't any tumors in his brain. Um, but he said, but he does have retinoblastoma and he has three tumors in each eye. From the time that we were taken upstairs to meet with the pediatric oncology team and the pediatric surgical team, like we knew it was going to be okay. Everything was taken care of. Um, there was nothing that we ever wanted for. It was, you know, we felt very welcomed and very safe to the point that I felt more comfortable being here than I did when I was at home because I knew everything was okay when we were here. The University of Virginia was an incredible place that we, we call our second home. From the doctors and nurses all the way to the um, housekeepers and 
uh, cafeteria staff were phenomenal. The um, cafeteria managers, Mr. James, um, he still has a picture of Tyler in his office. would see Tyler, he would give him a big hug and he would take him to the front of the line and cook him whatever he wanted. As a father, this was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. Even knowing how severe the disease is, he still just kind of, he pushed through it. He just made it very easy for us as parents to, to get him up here and to get the treatment that he needed. Back to his normal self at seven years old now, um, after all the treatments and everything he had been through, I, the way I explain it to people is that he's all boy. Always has a ball in his hands. So right back to the way he was when he was much younger. So since Tyler finished his treatments, um, he did the six rounds of chemo and, and multiple rounds of cryotherapy and laser therapy, but that all finished in September of 2014. He's been in remission since then, and he's doing very well. He's very active in sports. He plays travel soccer. Um, he's getting ready to start his second year of basketball. He's in second grade. He's reading above grade level. Life is back to what the old normal was, which is nice. <laughs> the treatment we had here was incredible. It was by far the best we could have ever hoped for, for our little four-year-old that was, you know, fighting cancer. UVA has been phenomenal. It feels like it's a home away from home. We don't ever dread coming up here because we know it's, we're going to be very well taken care of and that no matter what happens, things are going to be okay in the end.